you know, life's not fair, but uh, you learn to drive on. So I, I lost a one-year-old daughter and uh, had some time in the service as well and lost some buddies to include a really good friend in Afghanistan. And you learn to drive on. You come home and you do what you got to do. Uh, you stay strong. You don't show weakness. I'm worried that there was a stigma associated with some of the things I went through. And uh, there's shame if you show weakness. And that's the way I felt, you know, through some of these traumatic experiences. I didn't realize I had some symptoms. On, on, it really was forgetfulness, uh, disinterest in activities, uh, didn't want to have relationships, had some nightmares, hit my wife in bed during my sleep. And uh, my wife just learned to deal with it somehow and to support me, not knowing all these experiences I went through and the effect that they'd have on me. The aggression, the fear, the anxiety, they never manifested themselves in my professional life. I was doing well as a uh, captain in industry and uh, in the military I had a great career as well with early promotions and uh, doing all the right things and, and helping soldiers out in getting ready for what we needed to go to war. There was a day at work I was having chest pains and I literally thought I was having a heart attack. My civilian employer actually called the ambulance. I went to the emergency room. Uh, I had a full battery of tests for my heart, uh, see if there's any pulmonary conditions and neurological issues that I may have had. And I came out as a fully functional, fully physical fit individual. Uh, at this point in life, I didn't know that these were all signs of, of post-traumatic stress. So about another month after that, my general practitioner diagnosed me with post-traumatic stress. I could put on a regimen of different pills, everything from benzos to clonazepam for prescribed medication on a daily basis. I'm not sure how my wife handled this. She's, she's an angel and a much stronger person than me. Uh, she put up with me and handled the household and uh, it came to a culminating point uh, about three years into this that, that she told me she can't handle it anymore and I needed to seek help. December 30th, 2009 is the day that my wife helped and changed my life by telling me to go to the Veterans Administration. Uh, three days later, January 2nd, 2010, I was in the emergency room in urgent care. I started going through what would be a journey for the rest of my life. For about a month later, I saw a psychologist, uh, Dr. C. Uh, to this day, she's another person that's helped me in life. Uh, I asked her for my 90-day plan and my road to getting better, and uh, that was 10 years ago to the day. There is no 90-day plan. There's not a one-day plan. There's not a one-year plan or a decade-long plan. It's different for everyone, but I could guarantee you, if you seek treatment and get some help, you will get better. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say that the relationship I have with my wife and now three children is a lot better. Uh, I've fully progressed. I'd like to share my story today probably for, for the fact that uh, I know what I went through and, and other folks should not have to go through the same thing. There's no stigma. There's no fear that you should have. Uh, there's no shame with, with getting help for a mental health disorder. And at the end of the day, it's really got the opposite effect. If you go get help, you're gonna be a stronger person. Be a stronger soldier, husband or wife, brother or sister. My name is Brigadier General Ernie Latinsky, and I have post traumatic stress.